Well, hello there. This is Kathy Crow at the Crow Cottage, and this is not my normal day to do this, um, but I am going to do my Facebook Live um, in just a minute. I'm going to do the drawing first, and I'll wait a minute to get people online with me. Oh, shoot. I was going to change my shirt and wear a cute shirt, and <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, well, it's over there on the chair. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to get pretty hot today and red. Hey, Dan. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're doing well. Um, anyway, so press on is the, uh, stamp set I'm going to use today. It's one of the new ones that's going to be available in August. August 4 is when our sale catalog goes on. And that's, I mean, our, our call, our mini catalog, I should say. It's mostly a holiday catalog. Hi, Linda. It's nice to see you. Um, okay, back to work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some of us get to do fun for work. <laughs> At any rate, um, so, but I, and so I think this is in that mini catalog. It's awfully cute, but it's not very holiday-ish, but the colors I'm using today are gonna kind of turn it into a fall um, thing. So thank you for sharing, Linda. I'm going to keep saying that because today, since it's not my normal day and Tuesday, I don't know who's going to show up and and even when they do, they won't know. And, and anyway, so I'll probably have to say it a few times. You'll just have to forgive me for doing that. Okay, so I have all of the names in here now for those who shared last week's video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You'd be surprised where it gets to. Um... I have, uh, uh, you know, it's just a really helpful way to get out the fact that I do this. Um, and it's pretty fun. It's fun to hear, hear from people all over. All right. So anyhow, we will do the drawing and we'll see who wins. Last week, I think it was Freddie. And Freddie probably won't be on here today because she's, I bet, I'll bet she's busy doing stuff. All right, so today, hey Linda, it is you. Congratulations. It's nice that somebody who was watching wins. I always love that. That makes it even sweeter. All right, so I'm putting that up there where I won't lose it, and I'm throwing those other names away because one time I think I threw in, I remember a while ago I threw the names in on top of the old names, and it was like, oh my goodness, and I have to do it all over again. All right. So, I have a lot of things I want to get going. You're welcome um, on. And it's going to be kind of a free-for-all today to some degree. I sort of have an idea, but I'm not really sure how it's all going to turn out because I don't have an actual card that I'm copying. And I also reconfigured my desk a little. So, my camera, camera is going to flip and do some things. And I'm going to have to cover it up. And I'm really hoping that it will... Um, it'll orient well I'm gonna find out and then I'll, I'll also have to find myself on here when oh I think it went pretty well I wasn't sure I had to flip it and um so I'm gonna see how that works I'm hoping that it will now the paper I'm gonna use while I'm I'm trying to find my video you'll have to excuse my arm reach here um there I am. I see my big hand. So that's pretty good. Get that sound off. All right. I see comments. That's fantastic. I love that. I don't always get to see comments right away because it's hard for me to get it. Sometimes it's just not cooperative at all. All right. So the paper I'm using, I've got a bunch of scraps shoved in there, but this is, oh, I've got some lovely little so saffron tags. We'll put those up there. Who knows? I might use those today. Um, so this is plaid tidings. This is also going to be coming out in the mini catalog in August. Um, for those of us who are demonstrators already, we have had these things in our hands, probably most of us for, um, almost a month now, right? Or has it been just a few weeks? I don't know. It seems like I've had it for a while just because I think I've I've just been really enjoying it um, the colors in this plaid are fabulous I'm so excited about it it has um, Christmas has Halloween colors fall colors has um, but just some generic ones that you could use all year long I love that pink and um, so I'm so thrilled with it because it seems like a lot of times our plaid 
comes in a specific holiday color and then I get stuck with a whole lot of paper I don't end up using because um, I don't have a lot of people taking my classes so then when that happens I just I have so much and I love it so eventually I will use it but today I am gonna use this sheet and we are going to make a card that is based on this idea because what I did is I was I was uh, I, I knew what I wanted I wanted to use this and do a Halloween one and then as I got to playing with I cut out this frame and um, and then realized well I don't want to waste my scraps and so I did this with my scraps and I had this as a scrap and I thought well this is gonna be a cute card because I, I think it'll go really good with this stamp set so that's why I'm doing this today anyhow um, this plaid is probably my all-time favorite this year and it go it's part of the paper pack that's our autumn paper and um, now this is a plaid from that plaid pack I just showed you. I've got some strips because I've been playing with it. Um, but this autumn, this autumn paper is really cool. Linda, have you seen it? It's really, really nice. Uh, I think it, I'm not sure if it's, it, it might be with the, uh, I don't know, there's a few autumn things and they've got these really cute little acorn Feely Bobs. Oh, I love those. I'm not going to use those today, but they are adorable. All right. So, um, oh, I've got a bunch of scraps over here. Let's get rid of some of those. All right. Good. It looks like I can see everything pretty well. I'm actually going to bring this down just a tiny bit and hopefully that will keep me in the frame. And you can see my sticky notes I've stuck here to remind myself really to keep talking about that sharing and my coupons. That's it. This is what we're using. So I'll just stick that up there. That's the class um, name. I mean the stamp name. But um, anyway, the uh, now this I don't really need that. I, this is sort of like my my cover just because I don't want to write all over. I've got this nice quilters cutting thing on here. I'm finding that I like that that's that's gonna work out much better for me than um oh hi trudy it's nice to see you thank you for sharing it's awesome to see you all right so we're gonna just go ahead and get started by cutting a piece this is gonna be just standard card size stuff and i and i'm so i'm just gonna kind of cut that in half we're gonna just cut this one. This so that was our pumpkin pie and our so saffron. We'll cut that in half. Also, let's see. Do I want this one? Might want this one to be scored rather than cut in. Well, we'll cut it in half first, and then we'll go ahead at four and a quarter and score that one because that one's going to be one of our base cards. We're kind of gonna do two at the same time here. And then on this other card, we can just cut it in half. Instead of scoring it, I think I want to cut that one in half, okay? It is beautiful paper. Um, so do you have it yet, Linda, the plaid paper? Really like it. It's, it's gonna be fun, fun, fun to play with. All right, so we've got some pumpkin pie and I've got a couple of extra sheets on the side and I don't really want to lose them, but if I keep piling stuff up over here, I'm not even gonna know what I'm doing. So I kind of need to make a space for myself. All right, now I see I have just knocked myself out of the frame a tiny bit. So I better put the camera up a little bit. This is my bugaboo every t week when I go back to see if I have managed to get out completely out of the picture and I'm working down here and you, you can see all this and not see what I'm doing. <laughs> and um, that happens way too often. All right, so I'm gonna just start with this one, but again, we're gonna kind of work on these two sort of sort of base cards all at once. And you're gonna see this Band-Aid on my hand. I'm terribly sorry about this, but I had a cat incident. <laughs> so, uh, and it's fine, it's healing nicely. It's not even very bad. All right, so with this basic card, we're gonna want to cut um, 
a smaller piece that's going to end up being um, four inches by five and a quarter inches, we're going to want to cut that out of our pumpkin pie. And then we'll do a little stitched rectangle cutting. Okay, so we want, let me move my thing there, four inches. Okay, um, four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm hoping that that ended up being about the size that I want. It's a little bit bigger than I actually want, so let's cut it down a bit more. Just a bit more. How about five and an eighth this time? And instead of four, we'll go three and seven eighths. Oh, you didn't get the plaid paper. And you know what? Um, it's a it's the six by six. So some people are a little put off by the six by six. If you're a scrapbooker, it sort of limits what you can do. All right, I'm gonna need my stitched rectangles. So let me find that over here and then we'll see which which one I'm using. That's the one. So we're gonna cut that out. I think I better just put you guys way, way, way up here. You're going to see all kinds of nonsense on my desk. When I do that, you might see my feet. <laughs> and I'm kind of just plopping that right on top. I hope I don't regret that. I might. We'll see. Now, if you're new in our world of stamping, you might think that I'm gonna, this Sizzix cutting thing is pretty old and it is, but um, we are gonna get a new one here pretty soon and I'm very excited about that. And my old one here has really, really seen a lot of action and I have to keep tightening up my, my little screw where my handle is here I have to keep tightening that up or my handle just falls off. So I'm I'm really needing a new one. Hi there, Marty. It's nice to see you. I missed you last week. All right, so we'll run that through. And now we have our lovely little window. Move this out of the way. You'll be back. I'm sure I'll be using that cutting thing a couple of times today. We'll see. Maybe not. I, I hope not. I, I don't like to have to drag it out because then I have to kind of adjust everything again and I'm never really sure if I'm getting the camera positioned properly. I don't really want you to see my legs necessarily. <laughs> I mean, they're not that bad, but I still don't, you know, nobody wants to see a leg. All right, you might more likely, if i rather you didn't see my chubby tummy down there with my leg. All right, so now we've got this. We're going to just glue this on. I'm still thinking my frame's just a tiny bit bigger than I wanted, but maybe I'll just, oh, I need it. I need, I shouldn't have done that. I need this to cut out my frame for my my plaid. Okay, so that's going to cut my plaid out. And then I need, I did, I actually just trimmed here and you could do that, but since I'm going to be cutting my plaid anyway, I'm going to use my larger rectangle to go ahead and cut out the whole, whole schmo. Okay, so we'll just do it again. I'm not going to have to raise you up too much because I kind of didn't lower you all that much. So we bring this over again. And now the one thing about these is that because it's six inches, this barely fits in these papers. And you can buy um, cutting machines that are bigger than six inches across. I But I'm very limited in space. Um, you know, actually, you know what I need? I need the I need this plaid to be on the diagonal. So, um, I'm kind of gonna do um, I'm gonna do a naughty thing. This is how I got my triangles though on the other 
So is I, I cut, but I actually I want to cut, I think a little differently than my angles that I'm getting here. No, it's not, yeah. I'm gonna have to use this smaller one because I don't really want to have the same angles for this that I'm gonna get with that. I, I'm, I'm wanting my plaid to be angled. I love that. Like when you wanna wear a plaid skirt, ladies, let's never wear our plaid unless it's, it's diagonally. <laughs> it's so much more flattering on your figure when it's not. Okay, is that gonna, it's not quite right. Let me get it. Get it positioned the way. Now that one's straight. I must have used a different piece for those because that's not that's not um, working out. And I've got another one, so I just will do that. Diagonal plaid just looks better. That's just my personal opinion. And obviously, since my personal opinion doesn't really mean diddly squat to anyone but me, you are perfectly free to have your plaid however you want to. You have a hard time getting the most Linda out of your 12 by 12 sheets. Me too. I do tend to waste a lot more of it, which is, you know, I have at times just cut my 12 by 12 into six by six pieces um, just to see if that would make me more efficient with it. And it does, but I'm real careful about which ones I do that with, obviously, because <laughs> um, I do not want to... Um, waste it and then if you cut it and then later think ha huh, I kind of wanted a eight by you know seven or whatever then you're stuck all right so let me grab that cutting board I have over here on the side this little kitty that I th well I thought I was cat free our garden has been wonderfully cat free now for this frame for this frame what I'm doing is I'm just using the lines on I on my my um, cutting board, I'll just take you down a tiny bit. And, um, and I'm using this first line, which is the one quarter line. And I'm just making sure that my line is right there. And then I'm gonna be careful about holding my paper down so it doesn't shift on me, cause it does. And then that way I can get a one quarter inch cut right there. And then these are going to be my angles on my card. Now their angles are going to be a little different than the one that I have. So I might have to, I might not be able to do that, but that was what I did, I think before, but I'm looking at this and thinking the angles I'm getting might be slightly different. Like I even chopped that edge off, <laughs> but I do have another one of these pieces in that pack. So I'm good. I can get it, get it to the be the way I want it today. Cause it's actually the the other card is the one I'm gonna be really working on. This one's you can do almost anything with a frame, and it looks good. That's just not all that difficult. Oh, you have a. I've got it reversed. You have a hard time getting the most out of your six by six, and you like the twelve by twelve better. I thought you said the other way, and so. That actually makes more sense. Um, I don't know why I have a harder time. I wait. I tend to waste the 12 by 12 more than my six by six. So different folks, different things. All right, so we're just gonna glue this down. I'm probably not gonna have any ribbon. Now, if I was gonna have ribbon though, I would definitely not be gluing this down. It, it, um, I'd be just kind of working working like the top layer and then before I go to stick it on the card I can decide do I want a ribbon because a lot of times with a frame I like to have a little tie or a ribbon on it and if I've already stuck it on the card I can still do it it's just that the ribbon will not be on just the frame it'll be on the whole front of the card because you could always cut it off and redo it so Anyway, I just typically don't assemble until the very last minute, you know, when I'm just kind of playing around. Um, that way I can always stick a ribbon on. It's always, when I'm done with a card, kind of, and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, ah, there's something missing. Usually it's like, ah, just stick a ribbon on it. And it's like, voila, it's done. It looks perfect, right? <laughs> 
Okay, this is, I should have got a baby wipe out. I'm already a little sticky. Ah, I'll have to do that. I'll have to get it out. My little baby wipe. I've been having a hard time finding wipes at the store. Now, there are plenty of baby wipes, but the kind that I right now want to keep in my car so that I can wipe my hands down when I come back in from wherever I've been. Um, I've been keeping, I was keeping a nice little package of wipes in my car so I could clean my hands really thoroughly and anything else I touched in getting into the car. Because, of course, I've touched the knob, I've touched, you know, the window, I've touched a whole bunch of things. And then I just go and wipe it all down. Well, I can't find any wipes. All right, so now we have the front of our card, and I can put this one on the side. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. So we're going to just put that put that over here, and now I want to work on this one. So let's see if any of these angles are going to work for me. I don't know. That one will work, but I really screwed that one up. <laughs> I think I can trim it. Oh, I can't because I cut off my edge, and I think if I trim it still going to end up being cut off just barely but it is so let me find where did I put my supplies I just had that plaid right here <laughs> where in the heck did I put it oh plaid where are you there you are okay let's find the other sheet that's in there oh I still have one left over wonderful you got a dozen of baby white, oh, from Amazon. I think I even looked on Amazon, although right now, because of George Soros, I have decided I'm not, I only buy something from Amazon when absolutely necessary. I did get a really cool pop-up book recently um, because I wanna do some more pop-up cards. They're so cute. I have a lot of, in our church birthday list, I have a lot of, you know, kids on my list so let's see maybe this is the angle i'm gonna want no i need a bigger angle than that all right so let's see here let's do it like this i want my card to ultimately be about that much of an angle and i didn't really measure anything here i'm just sort of eyeballing it, it needs to be a little bit smaller it seems like I had an angle that was close to that. Not quite. All right. Not quite seeing what I'm trying to do. So what I am going to do is let's just measure from the biggest point. And we can use our squares because that's kind of like a made, ready-made measurement. So we're going one, two, three, and um, about a half of a square there. And then if I do that... Uh, here's my half. One, two, three. We'll just make it a little bigger just to give me a bit of wiggle room on that. And then I am going to see where I'm going to want to cut that from the angle. It's going to be about there down. So we'll just lay it on here and line up where my points are. So my point's going to be there and obviously here. So we'll line up my points and I'm gonna do it a tiny bit bigger because my tendency is to always cut it too small and then it's like, whoa, that was too small. It's easier to fix if you get it too big than if you get it too small. There, that's a little too big, but I'll just cut my angle a little bit, little bit smaller. This is how you do it when you're just playing around. <laughs> but this is also how, how you do waste paper, which is why um, the 12, the 12 inch goes quicker for me than the, the six. Okay, that's perfect. So this is the angle that I want. So I'm gonna just use this. I want about the same one on this side. So we'll just, we'll just use you little angle to see where the next one's gonna be, where I'm gonna cut it on this one. So we can get it approximately the same size. It doesn't have to be exact, but I do want it to be, I do want it to be level. I better turn it around. I don't want a crooked line. Let's get you over here. Point to point, kind of, not cooperating. So we, I went to Nampa, Idaho to see 
my um, family that's there, my little two-year-old grandson just turned two. He had a little birthday party. It was so cute. He's so cute. He's fun. And then when I got back, um, because I'd been gone about four days, um, there were, I think the cat, I, we didn't have cats for a long time in the neighborhood and I put all my cat alarms away in the shed. It was our, our whole neighborhood was peaceful, quiet. We were all enjoying a wonderful neighborhood with no stray cats all over. But while I was gone, apparently a stray cat has decided to bring its kitten in and make this their garden to bathroom in, although I haven't smelled anything yet. I, that's just typically what they have done in the past. When we have stray cats, they use our yard that way, and that's why I don't really like cats in the yard. <laughs> it's like, no, go away, cat. So I ran out there. I saw it out the window. I ran out, making all kinds of hissing, angry noises at it, and uh, they just stood there and looked at me. And I thought, oh no, these cats aren't afraid of people. But the good thing about that is, is that maybe they're not strays either. Because a stray is the one that uses our bed. The ones that people own, um, they generally keep them inside or, you know, more. And they tend to have a litter box. So I don't have to be worrying about them using our bed yard as a bathroom. So I'm going to just trim these here in a minute, but I'm going to just stick the whole thing right on here. <laughs> you know, I don't even care, Linda, if they have them outside. I just don't want them going to the bathroom in my yard because I actually like cats. I'd love to be able to snuggle a cat. They're cute, but they, all, but they always use my, I have a lot, I don't have yard. I have a lot of dirt because of our garden and they love it. So, anyway, I ran out there. Well, the kit, because I kept run, I thought, well, you're going to get afraid of me. The, the bigger cat had sort of disappeared on me. So that one recognized this is not a friendly human. I'm going to get out of here. And um, it had left, and I suspect that was the mother. Nice job, mother. And... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to use my scissors here because I'm afraid I might. When I'm trying to cut a line really close, a lot of times I either I either get it too far away and then I have to recut it. And then in recutting it, I make it um, too close. So for my really tiny line, I am going to just use my scissors, but I do want a nice point here, so not sure why that didn't get to a nice point, but I must have made it, I must not have cut it quite close enough there. That's the trouble with doing it with the scissors, though, is that your line might not be quite as straight as you'd like. Okay, so got that one. I just want a tiny border here. That kid, the little kitten, just cowered. It hissed. It laid it, laid down, laid its ears down. Was hissing, and so as I reached down to grab it, because I thought, well, I'm gonna grab you, kitten, and I'm gonna give you a, for me, a gentle toss out of the garden. It's not gonna hurt you, but it's gonna scare you. And um, it did not want me to grab it. Can you imagine? <laughs> So I got scratched up and bit a little bit also, pretty good getting that kitten. And um, I did grab it pretty well, but it wiggled a lot and I'm not gonna squeeze it. I didn't wanna break its neck or anything. So I let it, I let it go. It scratched me good enough though that I had to put a Band-Aid on my hand and clean it up and pray that it didn't have rabies or something. That'd be bad. They looked pretty healthy, but you never know. So if I go down, <laughs> I went down defending my yard. All right, so now I'm gonna just put these on, I'm just gluing them. Now these, I didn't care about them not being at an angle, but can you see what I'm talking about as far as the diagonal of your, of your, um, if I had been not caring about wasting my paper, I would have wanted angles maybe here, but I don't know. When you're already doing a triangle, maybe not. Now in our new catalog, we have got some really cool 
um, diagonal um, dies. They're, uh, I kind of forget what set it's going with, but there's a stamp set that it's matched up with. And it has, and so you could have all these done with stitching. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Little stitched triangles. So I'm very tempted by it. I'll probably get it eventually, but it was like really low on my priority list because uh, it's pretty easy to cut my own triangles, and and I and when you're doing angles, you might want different angles. And you, but the thing, beautiful thing is, is that you can use a line, those stitched lines also, and get any angle you want, any triangle. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll see some cool projects. I'll probably decide I can't live without the stitched triangles and buy it. But for now, I'm I'm happy without it. Now this is gonna be this little window on my card, okay? So we're gonna have a little window. I want it to open. Don't want it to be like this. This is, I've got just a little flap on here, but I think I'm going to make this one open up. But I do want it to be at an angle. So how am I going to do that? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it like that. I'm gonna still have to end up cutting it to get it the way I really want it. So I kind of want, you want to, pos, you know, position where do I want my window? And I'm going to use um, our, this is our Starburst. I think it's still in the catalog, but I'm not sure. This is our Starburst punch. And um, it's a perfect size. And I can just take it and stick it right in here. And it doesn't really matter where I'm cutting it. I just kind of stick it in there. And I'll save that and use it later. And I maybe would have liked to have had it a little bit, you know, placed a little differently than that. But I'm, I'm good with that. That's going to be fine. And that's going to determine where I kind of want to see my, do I want to see my plaid? I don't think I do. I think I want to not see the plaid. Maybe I'll turn it this way. It looks like it's a little roughed up on that side. But I definitely want it not to show these lines. So, there we go, right there. But I can't do it there because I want my point. I want there to be a point. So, and I want to cover up all my plaid. So I'm going to be seeing my plaid. So because the plaid is going to be here, I think I'm going to want to put it more... There we go, I think I got it. There, 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 there. That's perfect, right there. Okay, so we're gonna hold on to that. Let me draw a line. Okay, and then I'm gonna know where I'm cutting. And I'm gonna just cut, cut that. And as you can see, I didn't do a very good job drawing my line. It doesn't matter because I'm going to cut a little bit on the other side of it anyhow, just to make sure that it goes where I want it to on this card. Put all my goodies away. Oops, where did you go? There you are. You don't want any fleas in your yard. Oh, I never thought about that. That's a good point. Never thought about that. I, I used to think that, well, maybe the cats at least will help keep the mice away, but they did not. In fact, I think they might have attracted more than kept anything away. So we only have a mice issue because of, um, you know, people, huh, people feeding their pets, basically. Let's see if my line's right where I want it. I'm going to have to kind of get my head in here because I want to make sure I'm cutting it where that line actually is. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think I got it right where I wanted it. Perfect. Okay, good, good, good. So now we can stick this on here again. Good. It's the right size. And now I can see where I want to score it. Now I don't know. Do I need to mark it? I don't think I do. I think I can just slide this in and then we'll get it scored right where I want it. 
Okay, now we've got a nice little folded piece that I can slide on here. And this is how it's going to look on the inside. Now this is not going to just stay like this because I'm gonna put a white base card that's gonna fold the other way on underneath. So it doesn't really matter whether this shows or not. And uh, I'm gonna just glue that down and then I'll trim off the edge. Okay, uh, let's see, what did you guys just say? You ordered a pack of 80 wipes from Walmart and got three packs of 80 for the same price of one. Wow, Trudy, you are a great shopper. Good deal. Walmart, that sounds good. I did not know, because it's been kind of interesting what you can order online and what you can't. I was so glad Costco was selling their... Um, TP online again because I used to go and get it and then decided well obviously I'm never gonna get toilet paper like that again because it's always gone and um, anyway so I was really thrilled that I could could buy it online again all right there we go I think that's gonna work very good, now I can trim off my little edge here. Oh, it's getting warm in here. Today, ladies, it's so hot outside, can you believe it? So hot, I was supposed, I was going to try to do this this morning, this, uh, my m morning, you know, my not <laughs> usual Facebook Live, I was gonna try to get it done earlier, but I just decided, no, well, Jeff was home for one thing, and um, he is home still, but he's taking his nap right now, so. You know what, it looks like I used our layering die instead of my punch, but that's okay. The punch is gonna work too, but I did, I obviously used the layering die and I kind of prefer that. All right, so now we have that. All I need is the white um, base card to lay that on. And then we, then I know I have my card that I'm gonna actually write on, because this is just, this is just for fun. I like to have enough space to actually write things on. So what what I would have inside there would not work if I just left it. And because I really don't, I've not measured, I did measure. This must be four and a quarter because I think I cut that at four and a quarter, didn't I? Yes, I did. Excellent. So we're going to go um, this direction and do your standard base card, five and a half four and a quarter okay all right we had a so it was nice to know that it's going to get a little bit cooler later in the week because it is so hot out there you are in your heated by four day fourth day over a hundred degrees and you do you have humidity too because see here, our humidity is generally about, um, I think the humidity index is not, it's rarely over 15, 20%. Sometimes it gets up to 60 something percent, but it doesn't feel any different. Even when it's um, up to 65% here, it is, uh, it just, it, it's a, we're in the desert, it's very dry. So that just means that it's been raining or is raining, it doesn't, feel like it's humid here hardly ever and um, I my my husband and I are thinking you get used to it right tell me you get used to the humidity and you don't it doesn't bother you as much as it used to that's what I'd like to hear all right this is sweet nice 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 and I don't need this I put that aside and I don't need this now I get to have some fun with our stamps now, I do need another piece of paper. I did not use our Whisper White for this base card. I tend to use something else for those base bases, unless I'm going to stamp on them. So if I was going to stamp on it, I would definitely use my Whisper White. There's a lot of difference between the quality, and I've tried a lot of different white card stocks, and I'm always happier with our Whisper White. They just work a lot better when you're stamping on it. Okay, I have got 
my daughter is having a baby soon. Um, and so I have to have some, have something fun for you while you're watching me stamp. She sent me, um, she sent everybody who did their, her little baby shower up, uh, on their email, this wishes for baby thing. And um, I, when I showed it to Jeff, <laughs> he gave me his answers. <laughs> and so I thought, I will share your, his answers with you because you will find them much more amusing than mine. So I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to say again for people who are joining, um, please share the video so I can enter you in the drawing. Linda won this week. That was congratulations, Linda. And I also want to make sure that I tell you guys to buy your products, in, uh, Stampin' Up! products right now. In July, for every $50 you spend, you are going to get a $5 coupon in the mail in August. So for everything that you purchase in July, you're going to get a discount on other stuff that you want to buy in August. So get in there and get your things purchased. So I'm going to put this here. Doesn't, don't you think that'll be cute? And then we're going to put this little cup. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to cut it out because this does not have a die. So since I'm going to have to cut it out, I actually like the coffee cup better. But this is going to be so much simpler to cut. So this little guy is going to be going inside. And then we have some really cute little sayings uh, in this stamp set. I really want to use this one. All you need is confidence and lots of coffee. Oh, isn't that darling? Okay, so that's what we're doing. All right, so let me stamp this first. And let's just turn it that way. I think we'll just grab any old thing will probably work. I've got some pumpkin pie right here. Let's try it and see how it works. Now, I haven't really tried it, and so maybe just to be sure so that I don't end up really hating what I do, let's do a little sample here and see if I like it. Yes, I like it. That'll be good. So we'll go ahead and give that a go right there. Okay, so that one's done. All right, so here's the first one. As baby grows, it says they get to experience lots of new things. They do. Babies, that's why I liked and loved being, even though they aren't babies, loved being a kindergarten teacher's aide because in kindergarten, they are at past the stage of not always getting to the bathroom on time, which is the problem with doing the preschool level. And um, other things, of course. And um, they learn so much. They learn so much. But babies, even more so, right? What do you hope for them? So that's what our, we're doing for wishes for baby. And then write it down. And it says maybe they'll read it when they're a little older. And they will. I When I did my daughter's um, just stuff, you know, she did all kinds of um, we, I don't know, there, when you have, um, your first child, you just do all kinds of things with them, right? Oh, wait, Linda, you said humid and in a drought? Oh my goodness, now that does not sound good at all. How could it be humid with a drought? That sounds terrible. All right, so I'm going to just stamp this with black, although I'm tempted. There is a black line. Now, if this was a brown line... I think that's a black line. It kind of looks like soft suede though. It could be either one. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna go ahead with black just be just to be on the cautious side, but brown probably be really good too. So there's our whisper, I mean our memento. Oops, I got stamps stuck on my arm over here on the side. <laughs> wow kind of got all kinds of weird lighting things going on here on the side. All right, so here's the first one. I hope that you learn. Okay, so the first one is I hope you learn. And Jeff said what day your grandpa's birthday is. That was his answer. <laughs> I 
actually am probably going to write down what Jeff Wright, you know, says about this because my daughter is going to get a real laugh out of it. And she already knows pretty much what I would say anyway. And uh, the, the, you know, I mean, we're the ones that taught her, right? So she's going to know what I'm going to say. Not, I don't know that she needs to hear it from, have it written in stone. My punch kind of just messed up one of my little starbursts. I, that sort of thing just really bugs me. So I'm going to grab a little piece of little scissors and try to clean that guy up there. It's, come on, you can't do that to me. All right, the other one is, I hope you aren't afraid. And Jeff's answer, I bet you can't guess what it is. I hope you aren't afraid to tell everyone how great your grandfather is. <laughs> I think you see a theme happening here, huh? Okay, I think we'll do our cup. Maybe I don't really want to do our cup with, um, let's take it out here from the um, rubber band. Hmm, I think I want so saffron. Better have so saffron where the word's gonna go, okay? So, ah, uh, we don't want dark. We'll, we'll outline with dark. And then I'll just use the, the light to fill that in. Okay. The next one is, I hope you love, and who do you think? Your grandpa. <laughs> He's so funny. My husband really does have a great sense of humor, which was really important to me when I was looking for who I wanted to marry. I needed somebody with a really good sense of humor because I'm, I'm such a... A literal person I um, am so sometimes way too I'm way too serious and I make myself sick being so serious so and I knew I knew I needed somebody who would lighten every moment for me and he does he, unless he's grouchy obviously he has his grouchy moments too all right this is our light black and it's the only thing I can ever use to get black and still see those memento you know lines it's nice to be able to do black now the real dark black eh, kind of iffy on that one all right so now we can put our little coffee right here but let's color it with the so saffron first see if I can find that I think I just shoved my gray on top of it. That is so saffron. And we will do the light one. Because I want to see my words really well. Okay, I hope you laugh. Is this, um, you know, I hope you, I hope you laugh. That's kind of an interesting one. I hope you laugh at, hope you laugh with, I hope you laugh because. They don't give you any of the transition words, so that's kind of helpful and that uh, you, sh Mary should be able to get a whole lot of really great responses from this. Um, Jeff's um, answer was, I hope you laugh at grandpa's jokes. <laughs> and, you know, you cannot help but laugh at his jokes, I guess, unless you don't get it which is possible Jeff's a teacher so he's been in the classroom enough years to recognize that times have changed and kids don't get the humor of a lot of things anymore um, which is kind of interesting and sad but oh well part of it is just being old you know we're old enough to our culture that would be laughing at and all oh, they have no clue even who we're talking about what you know they've never seen or heard of that movie or whatever so that's part of it sometimes it's just time to retire get out of there okay the next one is i hope you never forget what do you think what do you think he thought hope you never forget okay so this stamp coffee has these delightful little um, heart arrows on there. I love that, but of course that part's all going to go away when I cut out this cup, but that's okay. I'll get that in on another stamp set. 
Okay, so that didn't take nearly as long as it would have if I had used the mug. And then that's going to go right here, okay? And this has, I love this, coffee is always a good idea, and it's in steam, it's showing steam. Oh, so cute. So, do you see that I love coffee? <laughs> All right, I'm putting my cup where I want it. Kind of want the coffee to peek through. So I'm gonna have my stamp going. Make sure that's coming on good. This part cannot flub. All right, now I know where it's going, right? There, excellent. Coffee is always a good idea. Now, I do see that my stamp left a little edge and it left it right here. So, let me grab my gummy scissors. These are the ones that I use for my stamp trimming. When, when I stamp and see a flub, then I get rid of that excess edge so that that doesn't ever happen to me again. It's really annoying when it happens. And it's gonna be pretty tough to get in there. I'll have to use my little snips to do that and I'll, I'll do that on another time. I might not even need to, that might have been enough. The old stamps used to do that more. Now, one thing I can do if it's bugging me enough that I need to, I could always get a label and put a label on it, but I have a little white gel pen I am going to just do that and then color it with my silk saffron. We'll see if I can get it to disappear, but I think I'm gonna still see it because I see it right through. I see it right through there. So I've already decided that's not going to cover it. So there's always the embellishment. We can always stick on couple of little sparkly things there and that's what I'm going to do. This also has these little coffee beans. So maybe we will use the coffee beans. What do you think? Shall we? So let's just do that. I'm probably not going to use these coffee beans on this card any other place. I don't know. I, I'm thinking I might not just because I don't want to be spending a whole lot of time fussy cutting here. So there's our bronze, kind of do them light, try to keep some white on there if I can. All right, and I only need a couple. If they weren't oval, I probably would have a punch that would be pretty close to this size. I would not recommend cutting out these coffee beans. <laughs> Very, I wouldn't try doing that. <laughs> this is only to cover up a flub. I would not be doing this otherwise. But I do think a coffee bean will be cute. I could have stamped the coffee bean on there. What was I thinking? All right, I need my little, um, I need my picket tool. This is tough getting this little guy on here. All right, so we'll stick you right there. And it's always humid in Virginia. Mm. Well, there are some good things about it though. In Virginia, uh, any of those states where it's humid, I am seeing that you guys have lots of beautiful gardens lots and lots. We, around here in this state, in our state of Washington, it is, there's, um, over on the west side, there's some of that, but not as much as you might expect. There's not a lot of public garden stuff going on in our state. I'm not sure why that is, comparatively to other states that have, you know, that kind of um, weather and all. All right, so that's that. I'm not doing any more of those on camera, although I might after I'm done, just because I, I think a few more of those would be kind of nice. All right, now I can stick on that coffee cup. We better just glue it down. And I'm not putting a lot of glue because I'm gonna need to slide it about a bit, I bet. I'm gonna stick it on, but I wanna 
be able to slide you so I can see that word coffee. All right, perfect, perfect, cute. All right, what have I got over here? I've got some tags. I think that's gonna be way too big. I'm gonna have to, oh, I forgot. I had this tag that I found. We will use you. I bet you'll work right here, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, this is where a ribbon would have been good because this is one of those tags. Hmm. I'm trying to avoid cutting out a new tag, but this is beginning to be too big. Looking at that and thinking that's just way too big. And I do want something on white anyway. Let's see what I want. I want um, that all you need is confidence and lots of coffee. So let's stamp it and then I'll decide what I can cut it with. Now this set has a cup of thanks. It has hope your day is full of pretty perks. I like that. And I really like this whole line of cups. And oh, and the press on. That's awesome. I can get all kinds of really great cards with that. So I'm excited about this set. Well, hi, Michelle. Thank you for joining me on this unusual day that I'm doing this. Jeff's taking his nap right now, so I'm free to do this. And one of the things that I am doing is I am reading Mary's Wishes for Baby. So if you just joined me, um, let's see. Do I want black? Do I want black? I think I do. I think I want black. Black for black coffee. Who likes their coffee black? And who likes it with tons of cream like I do? <laughs> like I'll have, Jeff used to, I mean the joke's old now so he doesn't say it anymore, but he used to say I'll have a little co coffee with your cream. Of course everybody says that to those of us who like to have a lot of cream and stuff like that. It's not, it gets old fast, right? So he doesn't say it anymore. All right, so um, I'm telling everybody what Jeff said. Michelle, when I read him, I read him um, the questions for this little questionnaire that those of us who went to my daughter's baby shower, um, we uh, we were gonna, she emailed it to us so we could think about it and send it back to her. And so um, the next one is, I hope you get, I hope you get, so, if it were me, I would be saying she it's a girl, it's a girl. It's going to be a girl. So I would be thinking, "Ooh, I hope I hope you get um I hope you get a skinny jean, <laughs> like as in G E N E. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sweet? It's not something you think about too. Yeah, I mean you do. Everybody wants to be thinner and all of that. So uh, it's not something that you worry about quite so much, though, until you get older. My goodness, I can be off my diet for one day, gain five pounds, and it takes two weeks to get it off. So one day to the ten days, let's say, at least. Um, I think sometimes I don't eat when I would like to just because I'm thinking, ah, that is not worth having to diet for that many days for that. So, no thanks. I won't have any. I'll just sit here and look at you eating it and suffer. All right. So, Jeff's answer was, um, I hope you get to spend summers with your grandpa. <laughs> now, that was a pretty good one. I like that one. I'd like, I'd like her to be able to spend summers with her grandpa. Not the whole summer. Maybe just two weeks of the summer. All right, let's cut that out and let's make sure that is, um, let's grab a scrap. Where's a scrap? Let me grab Jeff's answer here on a piece of white. Make sure before I stick this on that it's not gonna leave a mark. Okay, it looked like it wasn't quite dry in there. I'm pretty hot and sweaty in here. I've got my window shut or my door shut so that when Jeff wakes up from his nap, um, he doesn't disturb me at all. I'm going to cut this on the side, ladies, just to speed things along a little bit. And hopefully I'm cutting it so that the words are not cut off. That's always bad when that happens. I think it's faster if I just bring the machine over because I can kind of move a little quicker, I think, because I've got my 
lamp messing things up. So these are our stitched nested dies. I love these. I like that it has a point because I have a point theme kind of going here. I want a point and we can move it over like this, right? And then let's do a little bit of a border, but I want a little skinny border, so I'm not going to do my nested die. If I did do the nested die, I'm uh, thinking that border's going to be really way too big, so we're not going to do that. I'll just trim it by hand instead. Now, in this nested die, you do have a wonderful straight stitched edge, which I've told you about already, about how you can do your own triangles with that. There are many straight edged stitched ones. If you have been collecting dies for a while, I'll bet you have ones in some set somewhere. So um, if you're like me, you're going to be thinking, hmm, do I really want to invest in a whole other set of dies just for triangles? Or should I just grab out that stitched line and use it more? All right, so we'll cut around this. Okay, here's the next one. For wishes for baby. I hope you ignore, I hope, oh no, I hope you never forget, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, because the answer is how much your grandma loves your grandpa. <laughs> that was the answer. <laughs> so I hope you ignore would not have worked with that. So Michelle, do you see the theme that's coming through here on Jeff's answers? Um, the next one though is, I hope you ignore. Now I really like that, that's good. Knowing what to ignore is uh, a gift, a special gift that you try to teach your children how, what, when, and how much ignoring because it's actually pretty important and we're using that skill and a in an abundance these days, aren't we? Now here is where a ribbon would come in handy, I do have to say, because I can take my uh, spore thing and, you know, that helps, but it's still kind of flapping up. And I do have, um, I got them quite a while ago huh, on Amazon, and so I would not recommend it because they're these little magnetic clasps but um, they, are, they, they uh, have such a weak attraction that you can't really cover them with paper and have it still work well. And I don't really want to see a magnet here. Here wouldn't be so bad, but here, no. And if this was just, uh, if this was a strong magnet, I could put it, you know, under a layer of paper, like even up here or something, and it would well, not there, I guess here. I could do it down here and, and it would attract and keep that closed. Now I do have a Velcro one, but that one is even more unsightly. So a ribbon would have probably been better, but I'm not gonna cut a slide in here for a ribbon. I, I'm just not gonna do it. Not worth it to me for this one. So I'm gonna just have it flapping, kind of flapping in the breeze and the stick. Uh, let's see, where do I want this? Do I want it here? Do I want it here? I think we want it over there. So we'll just stick one. And let's get a piece of one. Okay. Oops, it's kind of overlapping there. There we go. All right, here's another one. Oh, I hope you ignore. We I didn't do that one. Here's his answer. Bad modern music and especially fake country western music. <laughs> heavy heavy duty emphasis on the fake. <laughs> uh, Jeff's not much of a country western lover anyway, and uh, you know, the real stuff that's actually country and western, he does kind of like, and I really like it. Hmm, okay. There we go. All you need is confidence and lots of coffee. I bet you're gonna like that one, Michelle. All right, so then I could just do more on the inside, but instead, let's see what we can do here. What time is it? Am I running out of time? I don't, I didn't even check to see when I started. 
and I can't see my cam camera, it tells me how how long I've kind of been going as far as I can tell with how long my, how much my battery is wearing down. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, hmm, let's do something fairly quick here. So we've got that, that's no good. Not that, yeah, I don't like any of that. I really like these cuts cut out. That's what I'm preferring, is to just have the little cups cut out. But I don't really wanna do a whole big cut out there. Hmm, I guess I'm gonna just have to do it. Cause wouldn't that be cute? And you could do a couple, oh, I know. Let's do, instead of that, instead of that, let's do this. And then I can just stamp on here. So we will just do that and we can make this. I hope your day is full of perks. Oh, how cute, 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 cute. Let's do um, maybe a white rectangle in there and then I can color my cups to match. That'll be cute. All right, so we'll set that aside and put that there. This is what happens when you're just, you've been um, for, You've been on for one hour and five minutes. Oh, you have? I have been. Oh, good, thank you. That's not too bad, actually. I was afraid this would take a long time, me just blabbing and seeing what I wanna do, because that tends to like go forever. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what I wanna do. What do I wanna do with that? What do I wanna do? I am going to show you before I'm done um, how to sponge your vel white velvet paper. I want you to see how beautiful it looks for that poinsettia petals thing. The poinsettia petals is, oh, so, so cute. But it was really neat when I did it on the velvet. And I had some vel white velvet. I bought the white vel the pack. It, it, we right now we have it in a pack, um, you know, in the catalog. I kind of forget what set it's with, but it has a couple of other colors. So you get a white velvet sheet, and you get a purple velvet sheet, and you get another one that I don't even remember what it is. And um, but I had. I don't know if they're selling white separate, but I had some from last year, so I don't know exactly when I got it. But I thought, hmm, I've got a fair amount, enough. I've got enough white velvet to play around here. So we'll do that there. It's a little crooked, not too bad. I saw somebody, what they did, this is smart, smart, smart. Take your, take your pen or whatever, and where your words are, draw a line. I guess your marker would be better because it would actually mark it like a, a, a you know, a sharpie, and mark your, the side of your pen or, or your stamp. Mark it where your words are, and then you'll be able to line it up more easily. I mean, even with clear stamps because of the way you know you get these clean ones you can't see right through so anyway that's just a tip that I haven't used very I haven't really used it yet but I did try it when I first saw it and it did help so anyway all right let's color it and then cut it out and then I'll show you that petal and then we'll be done all right we need the pumpkin pie we need something else too. Let's do, let's do bronze or maybe better still, let's do ivory. And I don't really want so saffron, but probably gonna have to just go with it. Cause I'm afraid my, I'm afraid the other color in here, I, I don't think it's mango. I think it's crushed curry and it's pretty dark. Crushed curry is, I, I love it but it can be a bit strong so i don't really want crushed curry let's go ahead and do um our calypso coral for the little heart though maybe i'll use maybe we'll bring in some calypso coral let's see how it looks oh i like it i like it i like it let's do that all right let's do a, 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 let's stick with the three colors we've got we've got white orange brown that's oh, four colors now I, I, I think it's black but we're calling it brown 
<laughs> black, instead of black, because I'm obviously not going to color with black. Okay, we'll go orange, 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 good. Orangey, lovely. Orange, okay, here's another one. Um, I hope you become... Okay, oh yeah, I hope you ignore the bad modern music. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you become... This is funny. What would you want to... What would you want your child to become? That was something that I quickly learned. Just don't even go there. Just give it up. Uh, whatever you pick, uh, the kid's going to do the opposite. <laughs> so if you pick something good, they might pick something really rotten, you know, so... Probably you don't want to tell them what you wish they would become. I guess they accepted the fact that we wanted them to become Christians and to know and love Christ. But, you know, hey, he's a pretty good salesman on his own. He showed them that that was definitely the best way. So we didn't really even have to have to push that too much. They they acquired that one from knowing him. All right, let's see. Um, Grandpa said... I hope you become grandma and grandpa's caretaker. <laughs> That's kind of a cruel one. <laughs> Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Of course, he's just joking. Just joking. All right. Now, well, let's see. When you're coloring, it just is, it's all fun. It's all fun and games until you hit the wrong color. And then all of a sudden, it's like, no, I'm going to have to stamp it all over again because I didn't like that. Like that. See, that is the crushed curry. And it's just too strong. I think we'll even, we'll let the bottom of that cup be strong. And, oh, you want them to be, this is a good one, Michelle. Oh, what did I do to my hand? I'll get to that in a minute. I, um independent, responsible, and honest. Oh, that is very good. That's very good. My hand, I got a cat scratch, and I already told this story earlier, and I don't want to bore anyone with it, so it's at the beginning. <laughs> if you want to hear about it, it's random cat in the yard story, and it's not that big of a deal. It's just I got scratched and bit by it pretty good. But it, it, um, it, is, it is now, the good thing about it is, is that the kitty is scared enough now that it hasn't shown back up yet. And in the meantime, I'm getting my cat alarms back out because I was able to put all those cat alarms away and I, our neighborhood, I know our neighborhood, our neighbors are so sweet. They never said anything, never complained but it was annoying to me, so I know it was annoying to them. And we were, because I was cat free, I was able to put them away and none of us had to endure all of my loud cat alarms going off all day long as those cats came by. Well, I went into the shed, got one. I thought, I'll just get one. I have five now, because <laughs> we had so many cats. <gasps> I got one out and all the batteries were dead. I had like this big bag of those C batteries and I kept trying them thinking, no, I hope my, it better not be that the, um, it better not be that the uh, alarms aren't working because I think I spent about 35 or $40 per alarm and um, there. All right. Anyway, the batteries were dead. It has a plug, so when I used the plug, it worked fine. So I'm going to be able to get it all back together again so that we have one cat alarm out there. That will be very good news. All right, now I need that stitched. I do believe we want a stitched something there, right? Scalloped or stitched something instead of the nested. Let's see if we have the right size. Scallop would work, but let's try stitched. Too small. Rats, I should have done my words a little bit, because I think that's the one I'm gonna want. This one is gonna work, but I think you're gonna be too big. No, I think it's barely gonna fit. Nice, because I don't really wanna have to, um, I don't want to have to just cut it two times to get it exactly the size that I want. I hate having to do that. All right, so here's the next one. I hope you respect. 
Ooh, where's my scissors? You're pretty close to the cutting machine. I realize that, but I think we can live with it for a moment while I'm cutting here. All right, we want that pretty close to my cups. Where's the other lid? There you are. There's the lid or cutting plate as they, as normal people would call it. All right, I hope you respect your parents and your grandpa crow. <laughs> well, that was an easy one. Everybody's going to say something similar to that. That one's not as funny as his other stuff. I mean, you can't win them all, you know. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Cute, 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 cute. All right, where did you go, little packet of... There you are. All right, here we go. I hope you grow. I hope you grow. This is the last one. I hope you grow. I hope you grow. For me, when I hear the word grow, I'm thinking, well, I hope you grow some roses. That would be good because I like roses. You'll like roses. I guarantee you. And they live in California, so they would be able to grow beautiful roses down there, probably without too many um, too many oh, what am I thinking here? I want a little bit of a shadow. I don't really know if I want bronze on there for the shower or ivory, but we're using it. Just a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if I really liked that or not, but that's what we got. Okay, ooh, I did it over on the side there. Should have not, but that's okay. All right, there we go. So that's that. Those are the cards, and that's what we did for um, this. But let me quit. This is only going to take a minute. You can wait. You can wait. You can do it. Oh, last one before I do it. Here's the last one. I hope you grow just like me, sweet, innocent, humble. <laughs> and that is the best one I think because yes Jeff actually is pretty humble in fact I think he's one of the most humble guys I know to the point of sometimes of being annoying all right I do have a leftovers of little crows and black ones I bought a few of these and then I think Michelle you maybe gave me one I love them so I'm going to put a little crow for all of my Halloween-y type things and fall things. Because wouldn't this be a great theme, you know, color-wise? The This is from that plaid, plaid paper pack. And um, there's all kinds of great colors in there. Okay, let me, um, let me step away here for a second. Because I'm not sure. Where did I put? Oh, here it is. Here it is. So I've got some of my other DSP in here. But this is the white velvet okay white velvet now where did i put where did i put that um pressed or poinsettia petals i bet you i put it away poinsettia petals where are you i can't do this if i can't find you quickly see i thought i had it right here and i obviously i don't maybe i put it with my christmas things already yes i did okay so you have to what you do to make this is it has all these beautiful petals in it you can do it with the leaf too but i'm going to just demonstrate with the petal so i'm not even going to use the stamp i have used the stamps they're wonderful and all of that but i'm just going to want to show you what you can do with your um your petals here it's really pretty and I'm going to do a card with this um, this idea later. I just, I am so excited about it that I just could not resist showing it to you right now before I'm ready to do a card online. Oh, I'm glad that was big enough. So that was your velvet piece. And all you're going to do is just die cut this guy out. Let me make some space. Okay, so we'll just slide that there. We'll turn it over so it's doing what it's supposed to do. 
see if I'm getting it right. I always have to look and see. Yeah, I think it's this way. There we go. Okay. And. La la la. Let me go this way. All the cards are lovely. Oh, thank you, Linda. Is that me or is it in general? <laughs> yes. Our cards that we all do are always lovely. They are. You guys are wonderful at this. Okay, now look at this. Now, it does smash your velvet down a tiny bit, but it's still absolutely fabulous. All right, now here's the good part. Let me put my die away with the stamp set. There it is. Okay, I'll just throw it in there for now just so that I don't lose it. Okay, you are going to love this because it's so easy so cute and you can do it with different colors so i've done it with blue and i think i'll show you what blue looks like in a minute um let me grab my red sponge there's my red one okay and i'm gonna get out the poppy parade it works fine with real red too but um the my our dsp seems to be working better with a poppy parade Let's do this. I'm going to bring you down so you can see this. I hope you can see it really good because it's so pretty. So just taking your, your sponge and I think first of all, and to try to avoid getting ink all over because the one thing about this is, is that it's not ink proof. As I do this, it is going to, um, it will it'll rub off on your fingers. So I'm gonna use my little tweezers here to hang on to him or her or it, whatever you feel like. If you feel goofy and you wanna call it a name, like, you know, Patricia Poinsettia or Patrick or, or just Poinsettia. Somebody's at my door, and I do not want to talk to you. I don't know who you are, but I can't talk to you right now. But I bet Jeff's going to get up from his nap. And maybe it's um, UPS. Who knows? Could be. I doubt it. They don't even ring the doorbell anymore. They just leave things. And sometimes it's left really late at night. So we get up in the morning and go out and like, well, I'm glad nobody stole that because it was on our porch all night long. And maybe even like from early, 6 o'clock. I mean, right now it's so hot. I'm coming in. I am not going out. I'm doing this on the edges because I want the edges to be darkest. So I'm just doing the edges first. And um, you're going to love it. This is not the exciting part. So don't get, you know, don't get discouraged watching me doing all this tedious edge sponging. <laughs> oh, hi, Andy. It's good to see you. You joined us. Awesome. Oh, you met my cards, Linda. You're so nice. Thank you. All right. Um, you know, it's, um, it's the stamps. This is why I do Stampin' Up, right? Isn't that why all of us are doing Stampin' Up? They're stamps, if people use them, that you can't go wrong. I mean, you cannot help but make something really cool with it. All right, now I am at the point I can lay this down. And I'm gonna just, um, I'm gonna keep on the edge here. Maybe I'll do the center first. And then I'm gonna just do a little rub, rub, rub. You can make this as light or as dark as you want and you can do any color you want. See how those veins just pop out? Oh, it's so pretty. And then the, um, the poinsettia has layered petals. So this is the biggest one that goes on the bottom. But all you do is you just do the next one the same way and the next one the same way. Or you can do them all different. Because if you guys have been noticing, poinsettias come in the most amazing colors and variety of, of shading in their veins now. So some of them have like almost a greenish vein and fade out to a salmon pink. Um, oh man, all kinds of things. It's just every time, every year at Christmas time, it's like, whoa, I didn't have any idea poinsettias came 
like that is so so pretty so I have a card I'm gonna put on Pinterest very quickly but I don't have it with me here it's in the other room so I can't show it to you but it is using this thing this technique let me show you just real quick how it looks with the seaside one our soft no that's balmy blue I do think balmy blue would probably be really pretty too but I've already done this. Thank you for sharing, Andy. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, remember, ladies, as we get done here, I'm almost finished. Don't forget, for every $50 you spend, you are getting a $5 coupon for that in August. And so if you are a demonstrator and have already a 20 or 25% discount, that is like, it, for every $50 you spend, going to be... A, so that's how it looks with balmy blue and it would be more exciting if I had the leaf You know vein in it, but this is what you can do with your velvet. You can make it any color So I'm really happy about the white velvet. The only thing is that the blue doesn't come off too much but The red does so I have a fixative that I sprayed it with and even so with the fixative still came off a tiny bit but not too bad enough to be able to send it so um, but that is just for you to know and so don't forget to sell yourself or buy yourself silly as you <laughs> my glasses fell down to my nose like a little old lady um so that you can get those coupons in august all right, because um, the mini catalog has a whole bunch of really cool things like what I just showed you. All right, I am done. Thank you so much for watching this video and sharing it and all of that. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Stay cool inside. Don't go outside with all the weird rioting and nonsense that's going out. Stay in your town. Hopefully you have a town that's like ours. Ours is a more conservative place, so we are very calm and and uh, just in wonderment at what is happening in other parts of our own state. <laughs> so stay um, safe wherever you are. And for whatever that means, please just take care of yourselves. Um, keep praying. God's good. He's got this all in hand and it's going to be fine. And um, let's see. Anything else that I needed to share? I don't think so. I think we're all good. So anyway. All right. Um, the velvet. Yes, Andy, you would really like that velvet because, uh, I saw that we had, we had, um, they're selling, uh, felt, they're selling felt in the new mini catalog. And so the felt is already colored for you. And when I saw that, I was thinking our poinsettia petals might work really well with that, but, um, it's pretty thick and I'm sure their felt's thin enough that you can cut it with a die, but I don't know, unless unless you're a stitchery type person, you want to stitch little things on it. Um, I'm not using the the felt probably, but I am really excited that this velvet, I can make any color I want and I can, anything like that with a dye that has, uh, the dyes that have an impression in them. If you colored it, it's going to be awesome. But you saw what it looked like anyway, even without coloring it. And right now on Pinterest, there's a whole bunch of cards that people have done that are really cute on um, using that poinsettia petals and um, without, you know, any, any inking or anything. And it's beautiful. So, all right. Have a wonderful day. Stay cool. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye.